So that is the newest story mode available in the new update here along with the Mitsubishis and um, it's pretty good so far. I mean that first mission was pretty fun. I hope the taxi changes. If it's the same taxi every time that could suck a little bit. But other than that seems like fun. If you want to see more of that we will do some more in the future. But right now we got a goal and that is to do every single Mitsubishi in this one episode, hopefully, and build them and everything. We'll do, we'll do our best. I'll stop mumbling and, okay, rambling. Okay, I'm done. Another classic. We got the legend, Mitsubishi Eclipse. More specifically, Brian's Eclipse from the Fast and Furious movies. Probably gonna have to do this one. I mean, everyone's gonna have this car in their garage, but I gotta have it in mind. You can't, you, it's, this is one of those cars where it's like, oh, you don't want to be different. You want to just, like, have the Mitsubishi Eclipse. I actually knew a guy who lived in the same building as me who had one of these. He used to actually take them out, race them. He was running, like, stupid amounts of boost, putting out well over four or 500 horsepower to the wheels. Didn't look like this. Definitely, definitely didn't look like this. He had his own little style going. What does it say on the hood? I can't, I can't go up and see. So that's fine. I don't care. I'm going to just go in here and do some upgrades, such as uh, not the engine. Like we said, we're going to leave that stuff alone, but uh, we're definitely going to make it look a little more fast and furious. I'm trying to remember which body kit. I think it would be this body kit that would be from the movie. Got to do the big wing, of course. Um, the question is... I guess it would be this back end for sure. Not, I don't think it was that one. <laughs> I'm going to go with that one just to see the other one though. There it is. Yeah, it's going to be that one right there. And it's going to probably be those side skirts right there. And of course, you got to have the one hump. I love the one hump. That hood is actually the best. I wish they would do that again on a car. Come on, Mitsu, what are you doing? Wake up. But I think to do this thing justice, I'm going to have to let somebody else do the tuning. So 77,000 credits and a random tune that I hope is good. It's going to bring me to the top of S1 class, I believe. Hopefully the rims that this guy picked are good because I can no longer... Oh my god. Why is this the style of everything that he went for? That was just such a waste of money. And I can't change the body kit now. F okay, so I've fixed everything now. We've completely maxed this thing out. 852 is the max with the stock engine. Um, the only thing left to do is pick the rims. Now I'm going to have to pull up a picture here. Some of you probably know the rims. Maybe even you know the rim off by heart. Does, is there a specific rim? A stupid amount of money later, I found the tune that doesn't take away my body kit. And, um, has okay wheel, uh, not the greatest wheels, I'll be honest. I found ones that were maybe a little bit closer. It was hard to find ones that were exact, though. At least it has the right amount of spokes, but each one's like a dual spoke thing, so that's not, that's not very accurate at all. But at least it has the right look, more or less. And hopefully now we'll have the right speed that I wouldn't have been able to give it because my tuning skills are, uh, so I like everything except for the wheels on it. Oh my. Oh. Oh. That's a lot of air. It feels pretty quick. I believe it's using the stock engine, I hope. But I'm not 100%. Well, there you go. It's at least quick. And it can at least now live up to the name, or the look, the replication that it is. And it can do 360s. Oh, I lost it a little bit at the end there. I don't want to crash this thing. It's too valuable. All right. Back to the shop to make another one. Oh my god, please don't hate me. That's some Fast and Furious shit right there. Ooh. That's some broken suspension. It's okay, we used the stunt double car. This this one's okay. 
it doesn't feel crazy fast. But then again, I didn't drive my version of it before I threw this tune on, so who knows? Maybe it is just as fast, if not faster, than I would have been able to make it. Either way, like a hundred grand later, I should own all of the parts for this thing, more or less. So I could play with it and tune it as I would like. But right now, we gotta move on. I did want to spend a little bit more time on that one because, you know, it is... It is special. Alright, we're going no livery on this one because this one, more so than the engine, this one being the 1997 Mitsubishi GTO, we're moving up in the years again. This one is going to be a little bit more about the paint and stuff like that than it is going to be about the engine. We'll make it a nice A-class car and, uh, you know, we'll put some bumpers on it and stuff to make it look a little better because right now it's not, not quite where the other Mitsubishis are going to be as far as style. Now I do kind of like the idea of keeping the curvy front end going, but I also don't mind the idea of boxing it out a little bit. This one might be a little too intricate, intricate that particular bumper. So I think I'm gonna go with this one. I don't think I've ever seen that company before either. So I kinda like that. What is that? Makes it look angry at the back. Makes it look like it has a unibrow too. I do like that very typical Mitsubishi wing. So I think I'm going to keep that. This one's a little too bulky, so we're going to go with that. And I've matched the side skirt to match the line of the car. For me, I'm not really too picky on how the side skirt looks, although I do, I do like this one over the other one in general. I'm more so picky about trying to make it line up body-wise with the front and rear bumpers because sometimes they hang a little too low and it just looks a little bit silly. I like the hood pins on this, and it matches the company that does our front bumper, so why not? This car, like I said, is going to be more about the style than anything else. All right, we brought it to the top of A-Class, just doing like, uh, I think we maxed the engine, one up on the turbo, and, uh, you know, some weight reduction, basic stuff like that. That's not the point of this one. The point of this one is to see if there's anything new in the design section I know there was supposed to be some new stuff added, I just am not quite sure if it has or not. So we got this uh, interesting little blue-green color shift that I've kind of created here um, into a carbon hood. Very nice touch, a very nice touch, I know, thank you. We're going to throw the uh, blackest of black tint on top, so we throw maybe the... Not black, but like, let's go like a darker-ish, but not too dark gray. Kind of like that one right there, maybe that one right there. Some kind of gunmetal-ish. Maybe we'll lighten, oh, no, that's the hue. Maybe lighten it just a little bit. Looks good. Now, what is this? Advanced. So here we go. Now we could go in and... Uh, get a little fancy with our rims if we so choose so for example we can pick the outer lip here and therefore we will just grab the outer lip of the rim and we can uh, now paint it whatever the heck we want if we so choose so we could go with like a nice little carbon lip if you want do some kind of designs on it whatever you want to do I wish I could go with the color that I have my car set to. We could go with like a purple accent here, just to kind of somewhat match the car, if we want. I mean, we don't have to. Um, we could also paint the inner barrel, um, which I don't know. Who, yeah, we could see it. We could definitely see it. Paint that purple if we want to as well. And then there's also paint group one. Now I assume this probably changes for every vehicle, um, but that would be the face. Some might have different groups that you can paint to do different accents. This one just has the face, the lip, and the inner barrel. But I mean, what more do you want? That's a pretty good amount of selection. So there you go, it might not be for everybody, but um, you know, I wanted to do something that I didn't use a livery and went in and kind of painted things a little bit. Tried to customize it to make it my own that way. Obviously, I could go into the designs and make it even more customizable with some stickers and stuff. I do not like how those rims look at all. <laughs> I'm going to have to change those back. But for now, 
I just wanted to show you guys the different stuff you can do. And then, of course, take this thing for a quick little cruise just to see what kind of speed it's got. I mean, I don't know for sure, but I feel like this thing could almost rival the Eclipse. Definitely not in handling, though. Oh, my God. <laughs> this thing understeers like crazy. I have to fix that in the future. But for now, this is more of a looker anyways, even though it's kind of ugly. Kind of weird little, like, dinosaur Barney paint job going on. The rim color is not the best. Okay, I made the wheels a little bit darker and uh, took away the little accent colors. Just for this particular car, there's a little too much color going on already, so we don't need that. And uh, for these rims, it didn't look the best. But for other rims, I can guarantee you this is going to be a very, very good addition. Mark my words, I just did a very bad job of showcasing it. On to the fourth car of the Mitsubishi lineup. We got ourselves the Mitsubishi Lancer Evo 6. 1999 is when this thing hit the market. And it's still just as beautiful as the day it came out. So we'll take a look at the different modification options we got as far as front bumpers go. I kind of just want to add the tow hook and the, the splitter, to be honest, because some of these are goofy looking. Like, I don't want no bull bar. And I want the, the nice round fog light covers that this, this car is so well known for. You know what? I'm going to just leave the front end stock, I think. Yeah, I'm going to leave the front end stock. I like the way these cars look as is. Oh, put a little tire on the top if you so choose. That's a big Mitsubishi type wing. But no, I think we're going to go with the stock wing as well. It's, I just really like the way these things look stock, so I don't really have much of a desire to change anything. So we got some rally options. We got a little roof scoop. I think I'm going to go with this nice carbon variant hood. It's the stock style, but it's a carbon variant, and I like it. I like it a lot. It looks good with the white. This car is going to be, I think, somewhat of a combination looker car, but with a bit of speed. I don't think we're going to go too crazy on this car. We're going to kind of combine the last car and the other cars into one here. Got to get that front poke on it because that makes the wheels look like they fit better in the wheel arches. It's a, it's a Mitsubishi trick. They, they don't want to tell you about it. But that's how they make their stance look better. You're welcome. Just sharing secrets. So here it is. Our beautiful white Mitsubishi Lancer Evo. One of the first of its kind. If not the first of its kind. I'm not a huge Mitsu Lancer guy. Evo guy. Etc. Etc. But there it is. I'm going to keep it white. I like the black rims as is, so I don't need to paint those. The hood's already carbon. Could add some more carbon touches like the wing if I want to, but... Honestly, maybe a couple little stickers here and there or something like that, and this thing would be ready to go. Get a couple stickers on the front bumper, a couple stickers on the back bumper. And uh, we got ourselves a top of A class. Ooh. What is with my handling today? Or what is with the handling on these Evos? I don't know. Feels pretty quick. Likes to go because of the all-wheel drive system on these amazing vehicles. Sounds good. Looks better. Maybe sounds better. There's a lot of turbo noise going on with this thing. Is someone mowing their lawn in the game? Because there's no way someone's mowing their lawn outside my house because it is way too fucking cold here in Canada to be doing that stupid stuff. All right, we got the Rally Art sticker on the back bumper there. We got ourselves an Evolution 4 sticker, which is, isn't this an Evo 6? Kind of weird, but um, <laughs> it was the only one I found. Let's see if there's another one. Anyway, and then on the front, we got the Mitsubishi Motors just all over the place. Just everywhere. Just so you know. And from here on out, we're basically just doing Evos. Over and over and over again. As the years progress. So of course, with the Evo 8, we have to go with the Tokyo Drift. 
Evo 8. I feel like those Toyo tires should have been maybe a little bit lower if I'm being real nitpicky. But um, other than that, this looks pretty damn good. The Evo 8 from Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift. We have the legendary Eclipse. Why not get the little bit less legendary but still badass Evo 8? So let's see uh, what kind of kit we could get on this thing. Now, I don't fully remember what it looked like in the movie. I'm assuming, based off of memory, that it's... Actually, I don't know. That thing is special. That's... That's, uh, I took a couple spoilers, a couple wangs from the junkyard, and, uh, ta-da! I like the look of this one, but I like the exhaust on that one. Whatever, we'll do this one. It fits its age a little bit better. I'm probably gonna have to go with the West. Ah, that's where it, it fits a little bit better, is on these two here. So we're going to go with the West body kit again. And uh, as far as the hood goes, we'll probably get a snorkel. No, <laughs> no, no, no. We want this to be somewhat tuner. Are those BBS wheels on it already? I didn't notice the stupid little roof scoop up there. So I'm going to be taking that off real quick. It's part of the hood. All right, there it is. Maxed out with the original engine. Cannot get much better than this. And I mean, in my opinion, it can't look much better than that. I know that said it was only 25 grand, but trust me, it was a lot more than that. So there it is in all of its glory. I mean, I'd put this car on a shelf. It's quick. It's quiet, though. It's kind of weird. It's very quick and it feels really sticky. I know I just went completely off the track there, but that's because I just went way too quick into the corner. Holy, this thing feels nasty. Going for our quick little lap around the block. Annoy the shit out of the neighbors. I don't know why this thing got so quiet, though. I feel like Lil Bow Wow. Even though Lil Bow Wow didn't have this vehicle. <laughs> so most of you are probably screaming at me. Telling me I'm a fucking idiot. Because the Fast and Furious Evo is not the Evo 8. It is actually the Evo 9. Which is currently what we are going to be doing. And um, I'm going to have to change <laughs> change the livery on the other one now because that's just embarrassing. Some of you were probably like screaming at me that whole time like wrong Evo dumbass. And, uh, you know, sometimes you just you just mix things up a little bit. All right. Jeez. God, get out of my dick. Come on. All right. So there's the actual Tokyo Drift Mitsubishi Evo 9 done up how I think it should look to fit the car from the movie. And we're going to take the other Mitsubishi and we're going to change it to the other Evo from the Fast and Furious movies, which happens to be an Evo 7. Now, I remember this Evo way better than I remember the Tokyo Drift Evo. <laughs> now, this is supposed to be an Evo 7 in the actual movie, but we're going to just put it on our Evo 8 instead. Now, I don't know if I'm going to need to change anything looks-wise. I'm going to have to change the wheels. Now, the front bumper on the original one is very dramatic, so we'll probably keep it. I pretty much built the right car. I just didn't put the right livery on it. Until now. So, this vehicle actually apparently had Motegi's in the actual movie and there happens to be some Motegis in the game not the exact ones that the vehicle had um but if i was going to pick one that kind of looks like it it would have to probably be this one kind of i mean not really but we either do the Motegis or the actual rim style would be something similar to that I think we should actually put the rims, uh, the rim company on that they actually used, so that works for me. We don't have to really paint the wheel because it was just a basic stock wheel. 18 inch sounds good, I believe that's what they were. And we're done. One more Mitsubishi left. And of course, last but not least, we have the Evo 10 
which is the only car that has the capabilities of becoming a cop car. So, you know, we got to add it to our cop car collection. Um, I was going to do more of a show car because this is a car that a lot of people have been making show style cars from these days, even though I prefer the older ones. So let's just uh, go on in here and we can make this thing somewhat look like a cop car. Like most of our cop cars, it's definitely going to be more of a performance looking cop car. What the heck is that? I don't think we can do that. Although it looks pretty cool. I don't think we can do that. Kind of messes with the livery. So we're going to have to choose one with the light here. I'm not sure. Oh. Oh, we can choose a light with mud flaps on this one. Um, of course, we're going to be doing the blue because we ain't no security vehicle. I'll tell you that much. So we're going to keep the stock hood because it fits well with the livery. And I don't really care too much for the other ones. So now we just need to pick some nice cop wheels. And there we have yet another maxed out Evo. Um, this one is a Chinese police vehicle. And they got them gold rims out there in China. So don't mess with them. So yeah, I'm not putting the V8 in any of these. I'm just going to use all stock engines. But for a lot of them, we maxed them to the brim. Forget the cup half full. This cup is overflowing. So let's take a little listen here. Got our lights going and everything. I like it. Sounds pretty good. Let's take her for a rip. Feels a little bit heavy compared to the previous Evo, which was around the same performance level. And I always take that first turn way too fucking hard. It feels good though, this Evo. It feels like it handles pretty good. I mean, I feel like I probably butchered the handling on most of these because I try to make them more stance machines and that, as we all know, is a handling nightmare. But, um, I'm pretty happy with this new fleet of Mitsubishis that we got. If you guys want to see more, I mean, there's no more Mitsubishis right now. But if you want to see more Forza Fridays in the future, do me a favor, tickle that like button, leave me a comment down below. As always, if you're new here or you haven't already, be sure to punch your golden ticket by hitting that subscribe button. And don't break the law, because you never know what Chinese, Japanese Evo creation with blue lights will come up behind you and lay down the law. Take her easy. Make sure you hit that like button, because if you guys hit the like button for me, lots of good things happen, okay? And we can grow and do giveaways and, like, subscribe and all that good stuff, okay? Take a easy. <laughs> meow, meow.